Hi everyone, welcome to day 38 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn. Today is Wednesday the 9th of February 2022. Um, the training has been um, running and, and walking at times up these uh, steep hills, um, trail hills today, doing a bit of reconnaissance for some Zero Alpha Ultra Endurance events which are coming to Western Australia soon. Um, I've been putting a link on the last couple of videos for Zero Alpha website which Joe Hotai in uh, New Zealand has started up and we're going to be promoting what he's doing in New Zealand with their, spe their actually special forces inspired ultra endurance events, really challenging events for those who really want to push themselves beyond. Uh, he's, he's bringing that to New Zealand and we're going to push it, promote it in uh, Western Australia as well. So Zero Alpha Ultra Endurance, I'll put the link below, um, but there's going to be a lot of pain and uh, a lot of good times on some steep hills as you probably see around me. Um, the lesson for today is about being prepared to do it yourself, um, which probably goes hand in hand with me now running and walking the trails that other people are going to be uh, suffering on later. So. Um, being prepared to do it yourself is, to me, is about, um, you know, even if you're, whether it be business, um, sports related, I'll put it into a tactical response group perspective. Um, when you're asking people, you're expecting people to do certain things, no matter what kind of level you're at um, in your business or whether you're, you're coaching in sports or you're um, leading team leaders who are leading other teams, um, when you're asking people to do things, just have a think about are you prepared to do those things yourself every day, um, barring major physical injury, are you mentally prepared to do it? If no one else is around to do it, would you do it yourself? Um, or better still, if rather than asking people sometimes, then just go and do it. You're the CEO of a business and someone's left a towel on the ground that shouldn't be there, rather than go and find someone to go and pick up the towel, maybe you could pick up that towel um, and over time these things get noticed. Um, from what I see, the, the highly successful um, CEOs, business leaders, managers, whatever, they do do the little things themselves um, when they've got time, when they're not busy focusing on the big picture. So um, from a tactical response group perspective, um, I was, I was in, uh, in my time, I, I never asked anyone to do anything that I wasn't prepared to do. So, um, you know, the obvious high risk things are, you know, running into buildings where or running towards gunfire at times, um, running into buildings that run fire, things like that. Um, sometimes we had to do the, the um, high risk type things that you see Hollywood style in any um, real life. But they're, they're the obvious ones, so I would always be prepared to do that. And everyone on the ground, every operator was always prepared to do that because that's why we're there. Um, the less obvious ones are things like if I was running, a, running the range, we're doing shooting for a day and there's thousands of rounds of ammunition we shot. Um, at the end of the day, we've got to pack up all the equipment, get it into cars, and then pick up all the brass casings, all the ammunition casings on the, on the range, which are thousands of them. Um, sometimes in the hot sun, 40 degrees, out in the open, sweeping it up, picking it up with your bare hands. So if, I, if I'd done what I had to do, and, or even if I hadn't, I'd, I'd make a point of always getting out there and picking up the brass whether I was running training, uh, and doing something else, whatever, and, and just showing other guys that you're prepared to do it. And um, by me doing that and by others doing the same thing, it, it just, it builds momentum and it breeds a team of operators in that case who are, who are always prepared to get in. No job is beneath them. They're doing the little dirty work. They're doing the, um, the high risk, the more glory work as well. Um, but everyone's on the same channel. I've, I've seen it work in other ways where um, even in general duties policing at times where there'll be guys that um, shy away from the dirty work and they'll find a space in a car to hide or something like that. And then there'll be two or three others that see that and they take that on board as well, because why he's doing it, why should I do it? And it's left up to the few who are prepared to do the dirty work to, you know, pick up the rounds or do do whatever needs to be cleaned up. Um, so don't be, so don't, don't let it fall into the negative side of thing, bring it to the positive. So be prepared to do um, anything that you're asking people to do. And it will definitely be noticed by those that you're asking. So if they see you doing the little things on certain days, they know that you're prepared to do it. That's the difference, all right? That's the lesson for today. Thanks for listening.